Oh, for Pete's sake, good start to the video, Diane. Look, I've just had my dinner and just realised I've got sauce all down my dress. Great start. Hi guys, thought I'd do a day three update of the house. Um, as you know, this is kind of just day three of stuff getting done to the house, even though I've had the house for a couple of weeks now. This is the third kind of vlog of doing stuff. So welcome back to my channel. I forgot to mention that. Uh, or if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Diane. I'm a mum of seven and a nana of 10. I have 10 grandchildren. <laughs> Hence why I have wrinkles and white hair. But yes, anyway, this is gonna be <coughs> a quick update of kinda everything. What's going on with the channel? What's going on with the house? And update of what's happened with the house so far. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm out of breath. I've had a shower. I've quickly scoffed my dinner. I've got sauce all down myself. Great start. Yeah, so as you can see, there's kind of flooring being put down. Lovely laminate flooring. I absolutely love this dark brown because everybody seems to have grey. Um, as you know, in the family house, I'm just going to sit down properly. As you know, in the family house up the road, um, we had white in the kitchen and um, I had grey in a previous house. In case you're new here, I've moved house a few times in the past couple of years. <laughs> but this house, it's got a really, real good factor, comfy, cosy factor to it. So, excuse me, every time I come on a video after I've had a drink, I'm lifting, so I do apologize. Yeah, so laminate's been put down today in the living room, kind of 90% done. Uh, and the hallway bit there, oh, that way die. That way. <laughs> Talking to me <my> fingers. <laughs> that way. Yeah, out there. We'll get done tomorrow and um, starting in the kitchen because there's a whole load to still be done in the kitchen. Um, yeah, but try, I think we're going to try and do as much as we can in the kitchen tomorrow, but there's a lot of cutting in and fittery bits and all that, so... All the kickboards have got to come off. So today I've just been tidying up um, in here. Yeah, just getting used to it. This is my first time staying over in the house. No, no, it's not. I slept over last week. But this is my first time properly saying and telling everybody, right, that's me officially in my house. Even though I've still got um, my sofa to come down and my fridge. I've still to buy a cooker. Still need a tumble dryer and there's all bits and bats still got to be bought. I'm going to change all the blinds in the house because I don't like the cream Venetians because um, they were left here from somebody else. And um, yeah, so that's what's going on with the house. I'll turn the camera around in a minute, maybe add some pictures of what's happening. I'm just about to film another video of... Um, a my heritage DNA test. Sorry, I've got dinner and now I've got cotton mouth where I'm really dehydrated and I'm not got my water. So I apologise. Um, yeah, my her my heritage DNA. My daughter bought me the pack for Christmas, and I haven't done it yet because I was ill and a lot of pain and in hospital and that over Christmas. Plus, I didn't want to send it away um, just because of the Christmas post. I didn't want it to go missing. So I'm going to do that. Yes, I'm going to do that DNA test. Um, if you head over to my crazy ass friend, Heather, who is Flutter1986, I bought her a pack for Christmas and she sent hers away and got her results already. Um, but I won't tell you her results. If you want to see her results, you need to head on over to her channel. I should have really got a cup of water, a glass of water for this video. But yeah, so that's what's going on. I'm also going to be doing, excuse me, two extra channels. I have this channel already, which is kind of going to have a lot of mixture of stuff on it. I really need water. <laughs> and um, I have my Nana D ASMR channel, which is obviously an ASMR channel for videos. But I've not got many uploads on there. Just basically, I turned myself into a Scottish granny, even though I am a Scottish granny, because I've got an English accent, but I was born in Scotland, so I'm a Scottish granny. But I put the full wig on, the glasses, my Scottish accent, 
and I tell kind of like bedtime stories. So in the next couple of months, I'm going to be doing a load more on there because now I'm back and, and I've got my own house again and my own privacy. I'm not living with family. I can get stuck into doing more videos for that. I'm also going to be doing a paranormal channel, um, which I'm not putting the title on here yet because I've got to make it and I don't want to give away the name until I've made it and then I can mention the name. And also I'll do a fibro channel, which is also going to be about fibromyalgia and stuff. I just thought I'll do different channels because a lot of you just come to my channel either for DIY or um, cooking or things like that. Not everybody's into the paranormal, which I totally understand. It freaks a lot of people out. Not everybody has got fibro and wants to know about my illness um, that millions have. And, uh, and not a lot of people are into ASMR. I wasn't really into it until I started watching the lovely Laura who's uh, Minx Laura123, and um, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of like a little bit weird at first, and I was like, no, actually, because I listen to, I like, um, on YouTube, they have like, you know, you can get the fireplace videos, well, I like the fireplace ones with a storm sound in the background, you know, like thunder and lightning and heavy rain, it's if like when you're out camping kind of thing, I like that. That's my kind of ASMR. That's my video that gives me tingles, helps me relax. So, yeah, so my bedtime stories, and I've actually had some good comments on them, um, that people actually quite like them. So I was like, yes, well, I'm going to be doing some more of them. I don't think I'll be doing role play videos uh, like a lot of other people do. But then I don't know if I get requested to do videos um, on the ASMR, then I would... Um, so yeah, so there's two other channels coming, just in case if anybody's interested. Um, I will let you know near the time. It's going to be the next couple of weeks anyway. I should have really got water. I'm so sorry. I'm so dehydrated. Um, what was the other thing? Yeah, I think that was me up to date now. I've mentioned I was going to do the DNA test. I'm about to do that video in a minute. Um, opening up the pack and swabbing. I won't do, because you have to swab for a minute on each cheek with two different things. I won't do a long video of me swabbing because no one needs to see that. But I'll just insert like a little clip at the top. So you can see it's me that's doing it so people can believe it's my test. So there's always a doubter out there. There's always a non-believer that goes, that wasn't your DNA. It will be my DNA. So yeah, I'm going to do that. That video. Then it takes about two or three weeks to get the results back. So I was going to add it on to the other video like for the results. But I thought... I'll just do a first video of me opening up the pack and um, show you what you get in it and how to register and stuff like that. And then when I get the results, which I'm so excited for, but I'll tell you why, when I upload the DNA video, the first one, why I want to do it and why I'm interested to do it. Because, um, yeah, so head on over to that video after and you see it pop up. Don't forget to click on my notification bell and click all because apparently it's YouTube's changed now. You've got, you can't just click the bell. You've got to click the bell and all to receive all my videos as soon as they get uploaded. Otherwise, YouTube just randomly puts them up or you might not get my videos at all for months and all of a sudden you could have three or four pop up. So yeah, head on over, click that bell. Um, so please like, and if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, you'll make me so happy because I don't have many subscribers at the moment. Not that it's all about the subscribers because those of you that watch, are so lovely and leave me lovely comments all the time. I don't have any hassles on my channel. I've had about two comments that are just stupid little, I have nothing like really, really nasty, just stupid people making silly comments and I don't even reply. They just get deleted, blocked, that's it, gone. Oh, I can't, I've got no time for people like that. But those of you that are subscribed to my channel and watch are my lovely little subbies. So, yeah, but if, as I said, if you're new here, and you're interested in DIY, like on a budget, then please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, so as I said, this is my first proper night by myself in this house. Because I stayed here before, I had somebody else with me just because I didn't want to stay here. New area, new house. And not long out of hospital, I didn't want to stay myself. But got my big girl knickers on now, so <laughs> staying by myself. Um, my daughter Natalia, she's not here because the house isn't done yet and um, she's not too well. She's up the road with her dad and her brothers. Um, she had a seizure at school today 
in case you're new to my channel, my daughter Natalia has epilepsy. So she had a seizure in school today, so she came home um, late morning. We had to bring her here because obviously we were doing stuff, but her bed's upstairs. And um, yeah, she kind of slept that off and then went home with Dad um, a little while ago. So she's going to be resting there because that's where all her most of her stuff is. She has a single bed and stuff at her dad's and then her double bed. And that is here. Um, I'll turn the camera around. I'm not going to show you Natalia's room because she wants to have that as a, a separate video, as a room reveal. I'll tell you why, really. Um, I've got to spend about another £100 to finish off her room. That's just for, like, cushions and the throw and a new lamp. And just thought, new house. I'll treat her to some nice new bits. Hopefully she keeps it tidy. If you're watching, keep it tidy. <laughs> keep it tidy. Yeah, because she's a bit of a messy mare. <laughs> if you followed my channel, you know that. So she'll have one nice wall, and then the wall that she's going to be facing will be like all her posters, and she's into some weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, so we're not doing that video today. I'm starting to look a bit flush. I am so sorry about being dehydrated and everything. Um, yeah. And um, I need to make a dentist appointment soon, because some of you may have noticed when you watch my videos, I don't have teeth at the bottom. I had a broken jaw from a really nice dentist years ago and I just can't have teeth that sit right without a lot of pain so I don't have teeth at the bottom that's kind of why I look, I'm starting to look more like a granny now it never used to be noticeable up until about a year ago and now I'm noticing I'm getting this more and where I kind of do that you can tell that my jaw joins in you know like a proper granny so I need to go to the dentist and have um see what they can do because I'm still too young to be looking like a proper granny. <laughs> I'm not telling you my age, but I'm pretty old enough to be a granny, I can assure you. I've got 10 grandchildren. So yeah, so I'm at, oh God, my kitchen's all right. I'm gonna, I'll turn the camera out and I'll show you all downstairs and then I'll um, love you and leave you, so I'll stop ranting on. Go and make my, my Heritage DNA video probably finish the rest of my dinner that I ordered watch some YouTube videos again go and check out Heather's Flutter 1986 her heritage one just a quick short little video but you know me mine are always long because I don't stop talking that's because I haven't seen you all for so many months I'm now getting it all out and um, yeah I talk a lot <laughs> so I'm going to turn the camera around now guys and I'll just show you everything what's going on and yada yada so again thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and i will i was gonna say i'll see you later but i'm just about to turn the camera around and talk to you again anyway so see you in a minute so this is that laminate i love it because as i said so many people have got gray and white and i like it it's light gray walls i don't really need to de decorate in here but as i said everybody has gray I don't really want grey. I was going to have mocha for my walls, but reading my Chinese uh, horoscope, it's the year of the rat and I'm a rat. And it says the unlucky colour is brown. So now I've already got brown flooring. At the moment, dark furniture, which I'm not sure whether I keep. I can't have brown walls. I've got to put my Buddha in here somewhere, but I can't remember if it's north or west facing or whatever. But... Um, yeah, the, my Chinese Zodiac, which some of you believe and some of you don't, but I am pretty much for all of it. It was spot on, and I have been ever since I was little. Um, I kind of follow what it says. So my unlucky colour was brown, and as you know, I wanted kind of like a mocha colour, like not grey, but not brown for the walls. So that's changed. <laughs> I've now seen a mural that I want, but it only goes to 12 foot, and this is 13 foot. So unless I can blend in the, get, get a colour to match kind of the end part of the murals, I don't know. It's going to look stupid. So I don't know what to do. It's either that or I'll have to find a bigger mural that will fit 13 foot or just do something completely different, paint it cream or something. I don't know. Or there is just a possibility of leaving it grey. Because like I said, if you, if you look, there's nothing wrong with it. Um... But if I leave it grey, it means 
I'd need to change my fireplace with my mum, <laughs> which I'm sure she's going to be really happy about, because um, this was hers, and swap it over for the white and black one. Um, my daughter was meant to be giving me my sofas back that I lent her because she wants to get leather ones. They would go in here, but they're black. I just didn't want grey and black, blah, 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 what everybody else has got and what I've had before. I wanted something cosy and the mural with cream walls, my cream sofa, or black or grey sofa, whatever I want. At the moment, I've got a cream one that's not here yet. Um, and then the wooden fireplace would go lovely. And then that, my, that desk I've got up in my bedroom... If that's staying there, but sit in this little in-shot bit here, because oh, you can't see it's an in-shot. There you go. You can see it's an in-shot there. So my desk from my bedroom, because it is meant to be like an office desk, would sit there. If not, the fireplace is going to go there, TV above it. Sofa would be here or here, and then desk along this wall. But I don't know, guys. It's just kind of... Um, you probably wonder why we put the flooring down before painting, because a lot of people say, well, that's stupid. Well, yes and no. We're just doing it because I wanted to rip up all that old flooring. As you know, there's mould over there, which is still getting cleaned. It's fine. It's all dry. It just needs a light, um, the top part scrubbing. It's all good. It's all dry. It's not wet or fresh growing mould or whatever. So, yeah. So, and we just put the flooring down so the house is clean and kind of livable. And then, obviously, if I paint and I happen to get a little bit on the floor, which I wouldn't, but I shouldn't because I'm going to have sheets down, then um, it's only emulsion, it can be wiped off. But we didn't want to not put this lovely flooring down, it's so nice. So thank you very much to my dad for doing this today. He's coming back tomorrow to finish this, because this bit of the doorway was, <laughs> was doing his head in a little bit, because he was getting tired. I was like, right, you need to leave that now, I said, because you're getting shattered, because there's all these little, you know, the little bits around the door where they're all odd shapes and... Because it's the one plank and it's got loads of cutting out. Oh, it was frying his brain. Poor, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, it's following through just so that I don't have to have bars at the door. It's all going to be followed through. So that's going to go out there all the way through. It just makes the house look a little bigger, a bit bigger because it is a teeny mini house. As you can see, the kitchen's are right up. <laughs> Rubbish bag I've got to put out. Mirror, clean clothes that I brought today. It's just a right in here because there's loads to be done. Ceiling's got to be painted, new light put on. I mean, cupboards are going to have stuff on them and my worktops are getting changed. I'm going to have tiles, wall colours changing. As I said, this new flooring, kickboards have got to come off and be trimmed because the laminate's going under them. And yeah, over here, this bit's got to be like sanded to be repainted or if I'm having paper up, don't know yet. New blinds, but there's no rush for that. But that's not a dirt mark, by the way. It's a Shadow of the light on the thingy. And talking of shadow, that's a point. I've not even got my cat here yet, for obvious reasons, because it's just too dangerous for her. I want to have it all ready, all set up, ready to go. I love my living room look. My green sofa, nice big rug. Just love it. And I'm going to have Venetian blinds throughout the whole house. So yeah, it's just nice. Right, I'm blathering on again, aren't I, guys? So I'll just show you. As you can see, there's the mould patch under there. It's been spray treated at the minute. I've got to do it again a little bit later. And tomorrow it's having a good scrub. As I said, it's dry. It's not wet. It's not damp. It's obviously been there a good while from whatever. Is my son. What is my son, Jonathan, from his graduation? Any handsome. My little man. So yeah, shadow's cushion that I bumped. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's the update, guys. So I know it was a bit long-winded, but um, yeah. So anyway, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment below. Say hi, say whatever you want. Just don't be nasty. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. Ciao for now.